All right, folks, today we're talking about slant puzzles. So the rules of slant are simple. You must have a diagonal line in every cell according to these rules. The numbers show how many diagonal lines meet at that point, and lines can never form a loop. Slant is also known as Gokujen um, Naname, um, it is logic based. This is not a luck puzzle. Um, and as the puzzles get larger, there are some interesting rules that you can deduce by logic that you can use to solve them faster. So we're going to solve a five by five easy. And looking here, we can see this one must have a line attaching to it. So that's the only way that can go. Now this one has been used. So all of these diagonals have to go in such a way that they do not intersect the one. This two must have two diagonals touching it and there's only one way for that to happen. Same with this two, whoops, there we go, and this two. Now here's something cool. These avenues are now shut off to this two. So it must connect there and there. This one is now used up. Now this one is used up. This one is also used up. Now look at this three. We've closed off one of the venues and there's only three left to connect. Here we've connected three, so that can't connect. Now look here, we cannot make a loop. So this must connect that way. Here at the zero, we can't touch it. Now look here. If I go this way, I make another loop. So that must connect there, meaning that this is closed off to the two. And we've solved the slant puzzle. Now, as they get bigger, they get more difficult, and there are lots of little tricks and tips you can learn. Like here, when you have two ones like this, you give them a little hat and that can give you a kind of a little bit of help getting started. But at the end of the day, you can always solve these through plain logic without using any tips and tricks. All right, y'all. Good luck.